welcome to Learning Mode. Today we are thinking about division and we're going to think about that first step of formal recording of actually that written division. And it's a method called chunking that probably was referred to in the, in the national curriculum around 2014. In 2014, they changed the terminology up a bit and moved straight to short and long division back to the old terminology. But you'll still find this method being called chunking, especially around classrooms. I really like this method. It's almost a pre-step to short division and it just it's really good to show the relationship between multiplication and division and it's really all about repeated subtraction. So whereas you get the repeated addition with multiplication, this is your idea of repeated subtraction. So it's all really about estimating and adjusting and children really do need to be strong with their multiplication tables to help them with this because it's all about multiplication first and then moving on to helping them with the division. If your child is struggling with the multiplication tables and they're still a bit stuck, please feel free to give them a multiplication table to help them because we don't want them to be hindered um, and not be able to use the method because they're being held back the multiplication by the multiplication tables. And I would find that often that children can fully understand the method and can carry it out, but they make the mistakes because their multiplication tables aren't strong. So do feel free to give them a helping hand to begin with, with a multiplication table. So, if you just have a wee look at what I've got on here, so I've got my title, which is obviously chunking, and the idea that it is all about estimating and it is all about adjusting, and really it's about multiplication and subtraction. So here my calculation is 64 divided by 4. I suppose when you would be using chunking is when you can't carry out a calculation mentally. You can't use those inverse facts or those division facts to solve a problem. So the numbers are a bit bigger. So 64 divided by four. If your child can do this mentally, of course, let them go ahead. This is always a good way of double checking. So simple layout for division. You've got the number that you're dividing by, the number that you want to divide underneath the little arch, and then the number that you're dividing by on the side. Obviously you call, uh, just for, if you want to go down the terminology route of division, your number that you are actually dividing is your dividend and your divisor is the number that you are dividing by. So you've got your number in here and you're going to estimate first of all. So we're going to think about the six. Division slightly different to everything else. Everything else starts with units and works up. Division starts the opposite way around. So here we've got the six and we want to know how many times four can go into six. Here you will be talking with your child, that this six is actually 60. So how many times can four go into 60? So here you'll be thinking about your estimating. What do you know in your times tables? What number is close to 60 in your four times tables? Your child will hopefully think about between 10, 11, 12, 10 times four, 10, 11 times 4, 12 times 4. And I would try to stick to those rounded numbers. I try to encourage ch children to use the multiples of 10. So 10 times 4 equals 40. So you're going to put your 40 in here. And this is where your repeated subtraction comes in. You're going to do your 64 take away 40 because we haven't divided the whole number. We need to know how, many, how much we've got left that we still need to divide. So you're going to do your 4 take away 0, which is 4 and six take away four, which is two. So you've got 24 left. Now you want to think about how many times can four go into 24? Is there a times table with 24 as an answer? And of course, yes, there is. It's six times four equals 24. Now, it's really important that you encourage your child to write down these calculations on the side because this is how they can actually go back and see their answer. So then you're going to do 24, take away 24, and you, of course your answer is zero, means you have completely divided your number, and now you're going to come to the end. The end here is going to find, is finding out what the actual answer is. So first of all, you divided 10 by four, then you divided six. So you are going to add those up, and your answer is 16. So 64 divided by four equals 16. So it's a very, very simple method to help your child 
really understand that idea of division. So I just do another one to help you think about the process. So this time I'm going to do 95 divided by five. Some children might be able to do this mentally, which is absolutely fantastic, but this again is another nice way of double checking. So what you want to do is you want to divide your five into the nine. So how many fives are in nine? How many fives are in 90? You really want to be getting that clear to your child. So hopefully again, thinking about those multiples of 10, you might think, so remember we did our multiples here, 10 times five equals 50. Hence the idea of chunking. You're taking away chunks rather than taking away five, take away five, take away five, take away five, because obviously you'd be there all day. So you're starting to think about that idea of actual chunks. So we're going to do our 95 take away 50, because we've divided 50 already. We want to see what we've still left to divide. Five take away zero is five. Nine take away five is four. Now you'll be asking your child, is there a five times table that equals 45? And hopefully they'll be able to tell you that nine times five equals 45. And then you'll be taking away your 45 just to make sure that everything is divided. So you've got zero. And then your final step is finding out what you divided to begin with. So you've got your 10 and your nine, which is 19. So five, 95, sorry, divided by five equals 19. And that's a really simple way of starting to introduce your child to division and really showing them that relationship between multiplication and division.